Coast Talk. I like to appreciate you guys for tuning in, but I just want to come up with a few things uh, before I hop into the video. I'm looking for a name change due to branding rights and everything. Um, I want to change it now before it gets too late. So I don't want anything, you know, with the Colts logo or the Colts name in my name going uh, going forward into the future. So for right now, I'm going to be starting a poll soon. But for now, I'm just getting ideas. So I need names and ideas of what I should change it to. Uh, two names that came up to mind so far that got more than one vote is, you know, um, Colt Versation. Uh, Colt Versation is one of them. And then the other one is Blue Nation. So I'll call it Blue Nation Podcast. So those are two names that came up that got more than one vote. Uh, Blue Nation got called up more than once. I think there's been four votes on that. So those are going to be uh, down to, I'm going to bring it, narrow it down to three votes uh, for the poll that's going to be popping up in the future. So you guys got a day to come up with a name uh, for my channel. And then whoever wins and has the best name will be on the live stream with me. And I'll be shouting you out and talking Colts football. So that's the reward and the prize for the person that has the best name to come up with me for my channel. Like I said, I don't want a Colts logo or the Colts to be inside my name. So those are two options. Uh, you got a day to come up with it. And if you uh, if you have the best name, we'll be talking Colts football on my channel, on the live stream for whoever wins. So you guys got uh, time for that one day. Uh, I would love to see what you guys got. Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Coach Talk, and we are here to talk about Jacob Eason or Carson Wentz. Now, this is going to be a good one because I know there's a lot of Eason fans. Eason season is among us. A lot of us want to see Eason prosper on the NFL field. Uh, Carson Wentz, we want to see a reemergence of him as well. These are two talented quarterbacks that has a bright future with the offensive line and a good scheme and a good offensive coordinator and a good head coach and a good locker room and a loyal fan base in Coast Nation. We both want to see them prosper, but the question is, who should we want first? So you got Jacob Easton on one hand, never had OTAs to begin with, uh, never had training camp, never had a preseason. And you know, due to the draft and everything else, he has the potential to be a good quarterback with the arm strength he has. He can get the ball down the field. And you know, he has potential. If he has mistakes, it can be a rookie mistake and he can learn from it. So I think he can have a high ceiling and prosper from his mistakes if he have any. And if he's on the field and he sees that time, I feel like we should give him a chance for sure to see the field because that's what we're all looking for. We want to see NFL film of Jacob Eason, and that's what we want. So I think it'll be a good shot to give him a chance to see the field this year. Uh, we got 17. We got more uh, another game added, 17 games. So why not? I think that's a good idea. Now, Carson Wentz, on the other hand, uh, he has some ups and downs in Philly. Uh, he has some good moments. He has some bad moments. But he's been working out with a bunch of receivers. You just seen him working out with Pascal uh, yesterday. So, hey, it's looking up for him. T.Y. Hilton says he has Andrew Luck traits. Now, that's a big sign. That is a big sign coming from a number one wide receiver in T.Y. Hilton saying you have a guy like Andrew Luck, number 12, the former quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts, traits. That says a lot. So, I'm definitely with Carson Wentz starting. I can't wait to see what's going to happen, to be honest, because... I want to see this Carson. I want to see a mobile Carson who's been sitting out and waiting for his moment to get back on the field and be a starter in the NFL. You got a guy in Frank Reich who was his former coach, well, offensive coordinator. You got a good locker room. You got leaders all around. You got veteran experience. I definitely would like to see a mobile Carson Wentz established in the system that he's known with, uh, a new slate, and a fresh start in Indianapolis. I would love to see that happen. Now, this relies on you guys in the comment section. Which quarterback would you want to see first, Jacob Eason or Carson Wentz? This is going to be a good debate because I'm I'm with both sides. I'm with both sides on this. I don't care who I want to see. I don't care who starts first because I trust in the system and the organization that is in front of us in Indianapolis. So I am definitely with any move they choose, either it's Eason or it's Wentz. But I know it's going to be two sides of the plate. And I'm definitely with the comment section. I can't wait for these debates in the comment section, man. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Who should start first and why? Give me the goods and the bads on both quarterbacks. And I'll see you later. This is Coast Talk signing out. Peace.